10 more questions Christians can answer. Question 1. The Bible tells us that God sacrificed His only Son so that we could go to heaven. But the Bible also tells us that He raised His Son back from the dead again. If God didn't really lose His Son, then how is that a sacrifice? Question 2. If God is all-knowing and all-powerful and has everything under control, why does He keep asking for money every Sunday? Question 3. The Bible tells us that God regretted making Saul king. But if that's the case, doesn't that mean God didn't know the future? Because if He knew He was going to regret making Saul king, He would have never done it in the first place. Question 4. If every complex design requires a designer, who designed God? Question 5. If nothing can come from nothing, then how did God create the universe out of nothing? Question 6. If something can come from nothing, why do we need God to create the universe? Question 7. If everyone who ever lived prior to Jesus could get into heaven by simply believing God, like Abraham did, doesn't that make Jesus a little superfluous? Question 8. The Bible tells us that God isn't willing that anybody should perish, but His Holy Word has been corrupted through the ages by mankind. So doesn't that mean God either allowed it to be corrupted, or He was unable to keep it from being corrupted? Question 9. In the book of James, God instructs Christians on what they should do when they get sick. They're supposed to pray and lay hands on the sick person, and God promises to heal them. So why do you ignore God's command and run to science every time you get sick? Question 10. The Bible tells us that Jesus threw a huge temper tantrum in the Jewish temple. He actually made a whip and whipped these people and drove them out of the temple, but not before overturning their tables and spilling their money everywhere. The Bible also tells us that Jesus called a Canaanite woman a dog. And Jesus insulted the Pharisees by calling them derogatory names at every turn. Jesus also lied to his own disciples. They asked him if he was going to the feast. He said, no, my time's not yet come. And he turns around and goes to the feast. Jesus also condones slavery. And he did not denounce the crimes of rape or pedophilia. Not only that. Jesus taught that if you call somebody a fool, you were in danger of going to hell. Then he turns around and calls several people fools. Not only that, the Bible tells us that Jesus explicitly upheld the ghastly Mosaic law that required children to be killed if they became unruly. Is this the person we should be emulating? No face on this one.